Hello, welcome to the channel. East Florida Explorer here. And today, I'm at the beautiful Oakdale Cemetery here in D-Land, Florida. One of the biggest cemeteries in Volusia County and also one of the most historic in the area with over 15,000 graves here. And one of the oldest graves here is from the mid 1800s. This place is huge and it's beautiful also. Join me. We'll do a little cemetery tour. Check a couple of these graves out. Right under the beautiful flowers, Verti, or Verity, Albert, and Edna. They both passed away in 1960. Some big slabs of granite here. We have the Bakers. Seaward W. Baker, 1841 to 1934, and Amy Baker, 1865 to 1929. Dennis T. Fulton, Florida. He was in the Marine Corps, March 6, 1933. And this is such a humongous cemetery. I know I won't be able to get everything and probably not every good spot here. It's so big. And also, it's almost like a double cemetery in a way. Because there's a street that runs right through the middle that divides it. But it's still the same cemetery. We have some different style graves here in this family plot. It's like the Bond family. Robert Bond, 1878 to 1925. In a nice little spot here with their last name that has a bench. In loving memory of our mother, Mary Cox, 1813 to 1895. Definitely an older grave here. And a lot of big, big slabs of um, granite. That's the Miller family, huge chunk of granite. And they're kind of all over the place. Big chunks of granite with the last name of the family for the family plot. This one has a really cool design. McBride. That is, uh, that's really nice the way it's written and kind of chiseled out. But those big chunks of granite for all the family plots are everywhere going up this hill. Oh, wow. This little area here is definitely older. See these brick rectangles for the grave plots here. And then this says Katie Mae Rogers, 
and she died October 15th, 1888, aged one year, 11 months. And then right behind Katie Rogers' grave are some more of these, uh, it's like rectangles with bricks. It's like such an old looking area. And then this little monument here. Let's see what it says. It's probably on the shady side. Mary C. Campbell, wife of Dr. U.N. Mellet. And she was born July 10th, 1837 and died May 12th, 1889. And her husband, Dr. Yura N. And he was born in 1834 and passed away in 1918. And there is a side over here of the cemetery that is definitely catching my eye and saying come over because it looks very old over here. I'll turn around because it seems like they're all facing this way. Azuba Tolles, wife of WMH Stewart. And they were born in Weathersfield, Vermont in 1849 and they passed away here in DeLand in 1915. And this would be her husband, W.M.H. Stewart. He was born in Andover, Massachusetts in 1832 and he passed away in 1913. This tombstone is so dark. It's like blackened. Mary J. Wickham. And she was born November 1st, 1847. And died. February 1st, 1914. Such a big, beautiful cemetery here. Lots and lots of old names of the land spread apart all around. Definitely catching my eye everywhere I look. There's some story on every grave. We have Hattie P. Gardner, daughter of Amanda Francis Lewis and Jesse James Jepsum, born near Glasgow, Kentucky, February 14th, 1865, and died at Deland, Florida, July 28th, 1936. Well, thanks for joining me here at the Oakdale Cemetery in D-Land, Florida. One of the oldest cemeteries and it is super humongous also. I only shown maybe a quarter of the cemetery. I'd definitely be back to do more of this place because it's so big.
But thanks for joining me here on this Cemetery Sunday, and I'll see you guys next time.